My name is Tiger Tyson. I'm a 2023 catcher at Oceanside Collegiate Academy down in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. I'm committed to the University of Louisville, and this is a day in the life. So I was kind of born into baseball, honestly, and I just fell in love with it from day one. Growing up, uh, my dad was always a coach of the Yankees growing up and the Orioles for a little bit. Um, and now he's an agent, so I've been around it for my whole life. You know, growing up in the locker room with everyone was an awesome experience. Um, that was so cool growing up with the guys who are doing it at the level that I, I want to be at eventually, you know, pro locker room. That was just awesome. So I kind of just fell in love with it from day one. So over the summer, I kind of, everyone kept telling me, you know, we love the bat, but we need to see you catch because on my summer team, I wasn't really catching very much at all. Um, so everyone was just like, we love your bat, we love your bat, but we need to see you play defense. So in the fall, I switched teams to the Upstate Mavs and started catching consistently. And Louisville, that was actually the first time they came and watched me, was in a tournament down in Fort Myers over the summer, or over the fall. And, you know, we talked after they offered me. Um, I went up to like visit and go to a camp and just immediately fell in love with everything. The, the campus, the academics, the coaches are amazing, the facilities, the field, the you know relationships the players have with each other. And I just think it's a perfect fit for me. So I immediately after just told my dad like, you know, I don't want to go anywhere else. Like this is, you know, where I want to be. It went, I, I would say I'm very happy with how it turned out. Um, over the summer, it was kind of, I was kinda just, you know, on the phone with a bunch of different people, kind of feeling everyone out. Um, and then I would say during that summer, I started getting, talking to more people, um, getting more looks. And then over the fall is kind of when everything like advanced like super quick for me, uh, once I started catching. And then I kind of narrowed it down to where I wanted to be. And then, you know, went to some campuses, visited some schools and just, you know, eventually fell in love with Louisville. You know, I really don't. Um, you know, if you, as a player, in my opinion, you want people to have pressure on you to be good because that means you're doing something right. Um, I would say I don't really feel pressure from anyone. I kind of just go out and do my thing. I can't control what people think of me. I can just play, play my best, play my hardest, and you know, control what you can control. Hey, when you do it. 
I feel like a big strength I have is I've been, over the last year probably, I've, my power numbers have increased a ton, but I feel like my biggest strength is always, you know, I don't swing and miss a lot. So I'm not a big strikeout guy. Um, I'm working on plate discipline too, but I don't, I make contact, you know, I'll put the ball and play in a big spot. Um, I feel like that's a really good strength to have. Um, and then a big weakness right now. So I went from the old school, just stick it receiving to, you know, the new school moving it back to the plate. And so that, in my opinion, that changed from a strength I had to now it's a weakness that I'm working to get better. Top three. I would I have to say Will Smith, Dodgers catcher, is definitely one of them. Um, even before I was talking to Louisville, I loved the way he caught. And just watching him on TV, it's just mesmerizing to look at. It's beautiful. And then I figured out once I started talking to Louisville that that's actually where he went. Um, so that's he's definitely in my top three. Gotta say Yadier Molina, just because I'm I'm a huge Cardinals fan, diehard, and uh, you know the best one of the best catchers of all time. And then. I gotta say, I gotta say, I'm gonna give him. I gotta say, Tommy Edmond. I just love the way he hustles, plays the game. He's just a dog, you know. Comes up clutch. He's just, yeah. Tommy Edmond, second baseman for the Cardinals. favorite baseball memory um, probably so against basically our rival school for baseball uh, Hanahan they beat us in a really close game and their pitch the uh, on a Tuesday at our home field and their pitcher turned to the dugout and start turned to our dugout and started you know going Hanahan Hanahan uh, so the next game come up third third in the first inning uh, almost hit a house land in the front lawn of the left field house and as I was rounding third I turned to their dugout and did the same celebration that he did, you know, Oceanside, Oceanside. Uh, that was pretty cool. I, I enjoyed that. It's probably one of my favorite baseball memories.
you can only control what you can control, you know. You have to play your best, play your hardest. Just, you know, you, you got to put it in God's hands what the coaches think of you, you know. You can't make them think you're good. You can't make them think you're a good player. You just got to you got to be a great teammate. You got to hustle. You gotta just always try your hardest. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You know, you can't control what they think, basically. So just do what you can do. Do control what you can control. Hey, we started off the day uh, in the cage doing tee and soft toss work. Then we went out to the field, hit some BP, did some throws, um, second and third, uh, caught a pin, um, then took some ground balls at third, and then we head over to the gym, uh, got a lift in, and you know, that's a day in my life. <laughs>